everyone and welcome back to my heavenly babies. My name is Angel and I am here today for Baby Talk Tuesday, which I host here on my channel. And joining me is my new reborn Ocean. Isn't he a beautiful boy? I love this baby so much. Now he is a big boy. He is 12 pounds and a little over 12 pounds and he is 22 inches long. But believe it or not, that can be a newborn size baby because my brother Robbie, when he was born, was almost 12 pounds and he was almost 23 inches long. And my and he was actually, my mom went three weeks overdue with him. But my husband, he was in a previous marriage, has a son. His firstborn was three weeks early and he was over 11 pounds and 22 and a half um, inches long, I believe. And that's a newborn baby. That baby was born two and a half or three weeks early and she was breached. So they had to do a cesarean. So a baby can be born this big. Um, so like when I did the little prick on his foot, I thought, oh gosh, isn't that for a newborn? But I thought, oh, wait a minute, he could be a newborn size baby. So, um, you know, I can look at him as a little bit older or a newborn. He can just be, you know, whatever, but he could be the size of a newborn. He definitely can because newborns can be born that big. I don't know how anybody pushes a baby out that big, but it can happen. But anyways, um, I kind of look at it at him as kind of like a uh, about a three month old. Um, but yes, he's a beautiful baby. Love those beautiful eyes. Those are glass eyes I put in from Irresistibles. They got the iris in it, and they're called Baby Blue is the shade, and perfect for the name Ocean. And I call him Ocean because he's so big. The ocean's big, and he's so big. But we're gonna get him into a cute outfit today. Now that he's back into rotation after he's all done painted and everything, isn't he gorgeous, you guys? Oh my gosh, I love him. All right, so we're going to go ahead and read our Billy Graham Wisdom for each day to get our devotional in for the day. And today we are on October 17th. And this one's called The Riches of the Old Testament. Turn my heart towards your status and not towards selfish gain. Turn my eyes away from worthless, worthless things. Preserve my life according to your word. Psalms 119, 36 through 37. And then it goes on to say, sadly, many people find the Old Testament confusing and hard to understand. Some even wonder if it has any value to those of us living on this side of the cross. But the Old Testament is God's word just as much as the New Testament, and he wants to teach and encourage us through it. For example, we learn that God made the world, including you and me. We also learn how sin entered the world and why Jesus Christ had to die on the cross for our salvation. The Old Testament also helps us understand how we should live. For example, we can learn much from studying the lives of its main characters, including their failures. Don't worry about the parts you don't understand. Instead, ask God to help you learn from the parts you can understand. If I mean, learn from the parts you can understand. If you have never really studied the Old Testament, begin with the book of Psalms, the hymn book of the Old Testament, or Proverbs, the Old Testament's guide to particular living. Thank God for the entire Bible and make it part of your life every single day. Wow, I really like this one, you guys, because, you know, a lot of people think, well, what is, you know, the meaning for the Old Testament? We don't need it anymore. We got the new one. That's where Jesus died. And, you know, everything's all different now. I mean, we all can have eternal life if we want it, if we get our salvation, all that. So what's good for the Old Testament? But the Old Testament is going to teach you all the things that people did then and not having, you know, that that chance. Um, you know, they had to repent. They had to sa do sacrifices of animals. It was a lot that they had to do to make it into heaven. And now all we got to do is repent our sins and ask for forgiveness and know that, you know, we're forgiven and get our salvation and get right and know that, you know, we get a free gift to heaven. You know, we don't have to make those self, you know, those sacrifices with the animals and stuff, but we do got to get right. We do have to ask him into our heart, believe and, you know, repent of our sins and try to, you know, not sin anymore, which can be very hard, but um, his death is what washed our sins away. That's amazing. All our sins are washed at the bottom of the ocean. And when we get to heaven and ask Jesus, you know, um, what did we, you know, what do I need to repent of or what, what did I do wrong? He's going to look and say, nothing. It was washed by my blood. You know, that's what I feel. He's going to say it just like that to us. It was washed by the blood of 
me, you know, and it's just amazing to know that, that we now can have our salvation. So read, um, I'm in Isaiah right now and I love Isaiah. I read all of Psalms. Psalms is so good. I love Proverbs. Proverbs will always be a favorite of mine, uh, cause it matches the day of, you know, all the days of the month. So there's 31 Proverbs. So if there's 31 days, you read all 31, like this month we'll have 31. If there's only 28, like in February, sometimes there's only 28, then you read 28 and you start over again, but it'll always match for that day because God is amazing. That's why he's amazing. And it'll match for that day. So definitely be reading, you know, the Old Testament just as much as the New Testament. Ask God to help you to understand, and he will. And there'll be parts that you will, and he will help you to understand. Um, you know, right here it says, um, ask God to help you learn from the parts you do understand, and he will. Now our wisdom for today is, Lord, open our mind to understand the scriptures from beginning to end. For the eternity of your word is truth. Psalms 119, 160. See, the whole Bible is the truth, not just the New Testament. The whole Bible is his truth and his love story. Start your day, go through your day, and end your day with life's manual, reading the Holy Bible, honoring, obeying, and living by this word. But pick it up. You're going to love it, you guys. And I, I say in a different videos, the NLT is the easiest version to understand. I mean, it's a third grade level, you guys. And it's easy to understand. But you're going to love it as you read it. It's, it's very interesting to read all the people of the Old Testament and then the people in the New Testament and what Jesus did for us. It's really a great book to read. So read and, you know, highlight what you love and, you know, continue to just do it over and over. Do a one-year challenge. It's so easy to do that little bit of reading. If all you can read is one, you know, one chapter, just read one chapter. But get into a habit of reading, and the best is starting with Proverbs, to match the day of the week to get into a habit of reading the Bible and ask God to help you each day to strive more for it. But, you know, if you don't have a Bible, please go out and get one and start reading it. If you have one and it's collected a lot of dust, pull that dust off and start reading it. If I could, I mean, a lot of times I'll hug the Bible when I go to sleep. Not every night, but I'm just saying there's times that I was scared and I held the Bible because the Bible will keep you from sin or sin will keep you from the Bible. So pick it up, you guys, and let's try to live the best we can. That was really great reading today for our devotional on the riches of the Old Testament. I hope you guys enjoyed that. And now Ocean, as he's staring up there at you guys, he's a good boy. He really is a good baby. I already did a, um, a, uh, you know, spotlight on him, but he is, he's such a good baby. He really is. Oh, I love this guy. So what we're going to put on him, we're going to do a black and white outfit. Right now he's got the twins on because say we're from Minnesota, everybody. Go, go, Minnesota. The twins are out, but they went pretty far this year, you guys. I was shocked that they went as far as they did. So he's got the Minnesota Twins sleeper on here in the white hat. But we're going to put him in this black outfit. It's by Modern Moments, and it's a zero to three months. That's what he wears. Um, so see, a baby could be born that size because zero to three months. I mean, you can have a big baby like that. It's a little black outfit with snaps, just black snaps going all the way down. It's open at the feet and open at the hands, and it's just black. That's all it is. It's just black, and it's like a cotton very, very cute. And don't worry, I know everybody's going to say, oh, be careful with black. I've already washed it like three times. I've put it on many babies and it's not staining any of the babies. So it is okay. I do have a onesie on him. He will have socks on. And, um, you know, he's sealed really good and all of that. But like I said, I've washed it three or four times and I've had it on babies and it's not staining any of the babies. So we're going to put this on him. And then I've got a black and white check, um, kind of check or, or triangles. I'm sorry, they're triangles. Um, little black and white hat. I thought that would be cute. He's got white socks and a white onesie on. So we don't have to worry about that. And we're going to put these shoes on him. These shoes are going to be a little bit big. I tried them on him, but they're still really cute. So we're going to do the shoes on him today. Can mommy have your puppy? Yeah, can I have your puppy? Yeah, can I have your nook too so they can see that cute face? Look at that cute face. So cute. Yes, it's so cute. And we're going to keep that white nook because it matches. Mwah. I love you. And I just got to give you kisses. Mwah. Oh my goodness, you guys, he's so squishy and so beautiful. So big and beautiful. Yes, you are. Mwah. You love mommy. You love mommy. Yeah. Look at Minnie comes in because she's jealous. Look at hi, Minnie. Hi. You give mommy kisses too. Oh, thank you. Can you give the baby kiss? Yeah, give the baby kiss. Give the baby kiss. Can you give Ocean kiss? Kiss Ocean. Let's kiss Ocean. Kiss Ocean. Can you kiss Ocean? Yeah, can you kiss Ocean? Kiss baby. Can you give baby kiss? How about the baby? Kiss the baby. Minnie, can you kiss the baby? Can you kiss the baby right here? Give the baby kiss. See the baby? Yeah. Yeah, Minnie does like the babies. Okay, gotta get down, honey. Mommy's gotta film. You gotta get down, silly Billy. Yeah, I know you wanna play. No, you go lay down right now. Mommy's gonna film. No, 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 no. No, let mommy film, honey. Silly girl. 
Yeah, Minnie is a jealous one, but she loves the babies too. Yeah, she. I, I've got had pictures with the babies, and yeah, she likes it. But yes, he is so beautiful, you guys. Oh my goodness, I can't get over how pretty this baby is. I'm so happy to have him, and um, yeah, gorgeous, gorgeous, big, big boy. Yeah, he's big like the ocean. That's why we named you that, huh? Yeah, I knew that was the perfect name for you was Ocean. And he's just so floppy, you guys, and perfect. He's going to be great with armatures. I'm definitely putting armatures. Even if I don't do it in his legs, I'm putting it in his arms. But I want to do it both in the arms legs. But then again, I don't know because I love his legs um, to remain floppy like that where I can pose and everything. So I may not need to do it in the legs, but I may. I'm going to, you know, just see. But I mean, look at what you can do with this baby. Yeah, so you're just so cute. And I love your squishiness. Yes, I love how you can pose. But see, I can just pose them so good. But if you had the armatures, that would be good too. But I don't know now if I want it in there. But I definitely want it in the arms because the arms are just so floppy. Yes, you're so floppy, buddy. Hi. Hi, baby. Yeah. Hi, baby boy. Let's get this off of you, you heavy boy. Yes, you're so heavy. Yes, you're so heavy. You're so heavy and big. Let's put you up like this. And how about you look at everybody over there? Let's look up at the camera. Yeah, you look at that light. You look at that light. Just don't go towards the light, okay? <laughs> um, but anyways, isn't he cute, you guys? Oh, my goodness. He is a beautiful baby. And he is going to have hair. Don't worry. Um, again, I've got, I'm getting all the painting done. I have four babies left to do. And I do believe that those babies are going to have to be seen one more time because I'm waiting on the stuff to come. Um, uh, it's taking a little longer. It's coming from Canada, the stuff I need for mixing. And it's also my seal. I'm waiting for that. So I got to just hold off on painting the other ones and they're getting ready to come back into rotation. Uh, the ones that I said, each baby, as you've seen them, you wouldn't see them again, um, unpainted, but you're going to end up seeing them one more time, but then you won't anymore after that. Look how cute this hat looks on them. Yeah, it looks cute. Is it a little bit crooked though? I think it's just a little bit crooked. Okay, there we go. There we go. There we go, baby. There we go, baby. Yeah, there we go. There we go, sweet boy. See, I would just love it with his armatures, you know, because how cute would that be with armatures, you know, up by his face like that would be so cute. Even though it's like, you could just like flop him around. He's just so cute. Yes, you're so cute. Uh, peekaboo. 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 Yeah, that's my peekaboo, baby. Yeah, he's so cute. You look up there now and you look at everybody else. I hope he's looking at you guys. Love that he can turn his head. He's got such a floppy head. He can turn his neck turns really nice. It's almost like my um, Skylar sculpt. Like his neck can turn really good. But yeah, I love this boy. I do. I love this boy. Yeah, I love him. And he's going to look cute in this black. He really is. Love the way his painting turned out. Like I said, and the other babies that were coming back in, which is the, I have four left. I've got Caleb, um, Raven, um, my my Chester, my little old man baby, Chester, and then I've got, um, who else was it? Oh, and then Sebastian. So you're probably going to end up seeing them, or at least a couple of them unpainted uh, as they come back into uh, rotation. But then once you, they you know, then that's it. You won't see them again, um, you know, without being painted. And then I'm going to start doing all the rooting once I get all the painting. And plus, you know, I'm doing that baby. Um, you guys would have seen on... Um, Saturday, I put up that video of the new baby I got, my new Bambi, um, my new baby I call Bambi, my new little, little girl, my vinyl um, that I did as that trade. Um, you know, I got Topanga there, so I'm also going to get Topanga painted too. So I just don't have enough time. It's just taking, I didn't know when I ran out, um, you know, I was getting to the end of it and I ordered it and I didn't know it was going to take a while. And they just said that the company said, sorry, we uh, were in a meeting. They had a meeting like over that, that uh, week or whatever and so that's why I took a little longer and they just said it's already been shipped so not much they can do for like expediting they would have expedited it for me but um yeah so I'm just waiting for it but it'll come you guys because normally it does come pretty quick uh it'll be here soon and then I'm gonna get working on Topanga first um might have already been here by the time you see this because I pre-record these videos today is actually Saturday for me I pre-record him look at how cute he looks in this black oh my goodness you are a precious baby Yes, you are. Let's put your shoes on. If they are too big looking with this outfit, then I'm not going to do them. But I just want to see if I like them with it. And we, um, let's see. We'll see. Let's put them both on first. They are a little bit big on him. What size are these? I don't even remember what size these are. They fit, but they're just a little bit big. I got these for um, my gunner, the Joseph 
my big boy. I got them for him. And I think they're going to work good for him. So oh, I guess these are okay. Yeah, they'll be okay for at least the photographs. Yeah, for at least the photographs. You want your puppy back? You want your puppy back? Yeah, yeah, you want your puppy back? You want your puppy back? Hi, you want to look at mommy? Hi. Yeah, I look at the puppy. Woof, 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 woof. Yeah, I dear your puppy. Yeah, you want to hold your puppy? Say, yeah, because you like Minnie. Yeah, you like the puppies. Yes, you do. So let's turn back and look at the camera. Say hi, everybody. Say, ain't I cute? Yes, yeah, say, ain't I cute? Say, peekaboo, peekaboo. Yeah. Say, I'm going to blow you guys a kiss. Mm -hmm. Say, I love God. I love all my aunties and uncles and my grandmas and grandpas and my cousins. I just love you all so much. And I love my mommy. I'm a mommy's boy. All my boys are mama's boys. And he definitely is a big one, too. There's very rare, you know, a few of them in my collection that are more for daddy. But, like, my brother Robbie, he was a daddy's boy. So, I'd say Robbie is a mama's boy, but he's definitely more closer to daddy. So, yeah. Yeah, definitely. That's that look-alike one I have that looks like my brother. I did it on Friday. And I did it for that teddy bear week. That one there is a look-alike of my brother. And he was a daddy's boy all the way when he was a baby. So, and that's the one I'm talking about. That was a big, big baby when he was born. Over, like, almost 12 pounds and almost 23 inches long. He was huge. So, but anyways, you guys, and my mom delivered him naturally. Just so you guys know, yep. And she said it was her easiest labor. She had four babies, and that was her easiest. And he was the biggest. They said maybe because he was so big, he kind of helped himself. I don't know. But anyways, I love you guys. Mwah. But remember, who loves you the most, God, and he wants you to read his word, and he wants you to get close to him, and he wants everybody to draw near to him because he wants people in heaven. The road to heaven is narrow, and the road to hell is wide. Let's reverse that, you guys, and get as many people to heaven as we can. Help everybody out and spread the good word. I love you guys very much. Everybody take care. God bless, and I will see each and every one of you in my very next upload. Bye.